Okay, so they're all ashed over. I think they're all good and ready to go. Okay, let's get them onto the weather. Okay, so let's get going. So what do we want to do first is put a water tray in here. There we go. And then we'll put some water that I've just boiled. Just a few centimetres worth. Okay, so what this water will do is it'll act as a temperature moderator. It'll slow down any spikes or, or plummets of temperature and, and keep it nice and even. Because what we're aiming for is to keep it about that 225 to 275 Fahrenheit range. Uh, we tend to use Fahrenheit a lot because it's American and this is all American style low and slow barbecue. Okay, so let's um, put the grill on. Okay, this fell is pretty good because it's got a lift up side to the grill and you can adjust it if, if need be. Okay, I'm going to move the wood so it's touching the coals so that it'll start getting some smoke pretty well straight away. Okay, I'll put the center in. Okay, all good. Okay, so let's put the meat on. Okay, looking good. We want to position the meat away from the heat source and above the water. So the humidity will also uh, make the, help the smoke particles stick to the meat. Okay, let's add, put our temperature probe on. Okay, that's a Weber Eye Grill. So I'm going to use two probes today. We we'll use one to measure the temperature of the barbecue, if I can get it untangled. And the other one will measure the temperature of the meat. Okay, here we go. I'll attach this here. Okay, it's attached to the grill. Okay, and the other one into the middle of the meat, not into a fat seam. So get it all the way through there. That's pretty good. Okay, we're good to go. You can see the smoke starting to come off. We'll put the lid on and then what we'll be doing then is adjusting the, um, the vents, the bottom vents. We leave the top vent all the way open because we don't want stale smoke be circulating. Uh, okay, better turn this cover on. Okay, let's put the lid on. Okay, and we'll put the vent holes furthest away from the lift briquettes. Okay, that's about it. Let's uh, wait until it comes up to temp. As it goes past about 200, 220, we'll three quarter close the bottom vents and that should stabilize our temperature around about the 250 mark, fingers crossed. Okay, so we're out here now to check on the weather. So what are we at now? Can't probably see that too well, that's 219. Uh, is that better? Yeah, 219. And still got some smoke coming out. Okay, that's a bit better. Adjusted it now. A bit more smoke, but you can see it's not white billowy smoke. It's still a nice light blue sort of smoke. Okay. Okay. There we go. Taken to bit under half. Say a third open. Okay. Still a nice smoke coming out. Beautiful. Okay. Let's rest it and we'll just keep on waiting. Actually what I might do is tell you what the plan is going forward. Um, what we're going to do 
is keep an eye on it. Uh, when it probably hits about 160, uh, I'm going to wrap it because wrap it will make it go faster. Uh, reason why I'm saying that is when you're cooking a big piece of meat, you get a point of balance. It's called a stall. And that's when the muscles start contracting and moisture comes out and the moisture evaporating actually keeps the meat at the same temperature for quite a long time. If you're cooking something big like a brisket, it can last for hours and hours. A uh, smaller piece of meat like this, it can still last for, you know, over an hour. I don't want to be out here until God knows what time tonight. So we'll be making sure the bark's a nice colour and is set. You know, a good way to test the setting is you scrape your fingernail across the bark. And if it doesn't come off, it's good. It'll survive being wrapped in foil. So we'll wrap it in foil with a little bit of liquid and that'll keep the temperature going and going and going. Okay, so let's check it in um, probably about two hours, I reckon. So let's see. Catch you later. Okay, so the temperature has been sitting on about um, 155 for a while. So what we're going to do now is have a look at the bark. And if it's okay, we're going to wrap it. Okay, all nice and dark now. If you look at the bark, you rub it with the back of the, the finger, it's pretty well set. It's coming off a little bit, but I don't think it's going to hurt too much. It's getting nice and wobbly, which means it's cooking. You can see the juice running out. Okay, so yeah, I think it's time to wrap this one. Okay, let's get all set up. So what I'm going to do now is take some um, this really thick foil and we'll wrap it up. Okay, so here we go. We'll do that and we'll make it double thick. Okay, I think we have my assistant here to come and help. Hey Tills, come in that side. Okay, now we're going to make a little bit of a boat so that it doesn't, the liquid doesn't run out of there. So hold the end up like this. Just hold it, don't roll it. Like this? Yep, good. And turn on the sides. Yeah, that's tricky. Okay, good. So what we're going to do is we'll put the meat here and then we'll put a little bit of liquid and then we'll wrap it up nice and tight. Okay, so. Let's grab tongs and it is sprinkling a little bit. We better be quick. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We'll take the meat. Don't want to get caught in the rain. And we'll put it there. Now we want to keep all that good bark, so we're going to put the liquid gently around. Now we don't need a huge amount. Just um, a little bit. Just a little bit, like maybe a quarter of a cup total. So what we're going to use today is. A little bit of coffee and a little bit of maple syrup. Okay, so we've got it all sitting there. So I'm probably going to put about half of that. So it's enough. And we'll dribble some maple syrup. Who doesn't like a bit of sweet? It's delicious. Oh, I'm Okay, alarm. Weather says it's too cold. So now what we want to do is we want to wrap this nice and tight. We don't want any space around it. Okay, so let's do that. Push that there. And wrap there. it up. And wrap it up. 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 Okay. So push it in around. So it's its own little press pressure vessel now. Okay, so let's put it on. We can crank the temperature a bit higher now that it's protected. And hopefully in a couple of hours, we'll be all good to go. It'll be all tasty. Yeah, all tasty, all right. Okay, so let me just move over the coals. You don't need to add any more wood. Oh, okay, I can feel rain. 
Okay, let's open the bottom vent. Make it hotter. I'm putting on my jacket. Okay, and it's time to go inside. Okay, we'll let it go. See you soon. Okay, so it started raining outside and it's got dark. And so instead of having to go outside all the time, what we've done is we've brought it inside and put it in the oven. Uh, I mean, once it's wrapped anyway, one heat source is as good as another. So the total time for the cook so far is just short of six hours. Okay, so now what we're going to do is see how it went. And this is your tool for showing, for testing how well it's been done. This is a bamboo skewer and we're going to use the blunt end of it to test. Um, it should push in all over the meat with the same resistance as if you were pushing it into a jar of peanut butter. So if you grab yourself a jar of peanut butter and just feel what that's like it should go in like that. Now this is crunchy so probably a little bit easier than this. Okay let's give it a give it a test. So there it is, plenty of juice. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. There we go. Okay, so let's test. Good. Oh, it could be a bit more. Not too bad. Okay, I'm thinking that needs a bit more. So what I'm going to do is, currently it's sitting on 205 degrees, I'm going to push that for another 10 degrees to 215 and then we'll give it another go. Okay, so let's see how it went. Um, so we double wrapped it in foil, we've left it for an hour. So hopefully all the juices have come in and let's see how it's turned out. Hey Tilly. <laughs> okay. okay, so that's good. So there we go. That's there we go. Okay, so that's gonna be good. Might get a knife first. And Okay, so let's cut it first and we'll just see how it is and we'll pull the rest of it. Okay, well it cuts pretty easy. Okay, not too bad. It looks nice and soft. Here, do you want to give it a taste test, Tills? Yeah. Oh, it looks alright. Look, nice and tender. Mm. Nice bark. I like it like that. Okay, blow it at the top. Okay, let's try. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, cool. yeah. No, it's cool. That it's good. a little bit too peppery for me, but otherwise it's really nice. It's mm. not too juicy. So you can see a bit of a smoke ring there. See the steam still coming off it? There's not too much fat. Mmm. And no, that's how I mean. like it, and it's super juicy and oh, tender. Oh, look at this. It's, it's pulling apart nicely. Mm. Hey, um... Watch out <laughs> What are you doing, monkey? Mm -hmm. I find the bear claws. Look at the bench. There. Oh. Oh, I got the bear claws. Right here. Okay, oh. so that's oh. put into a bowl. Oh. And then we'll rip it up with the bear claws. Bear claws. Scratch, scratch. Wait, look, look. I'm a bear. Rah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you could just use forks, but we use our fun. bear claws because we have them. <laughs> and we are gonna use them because they're handy because you don't like have to use cutlery that you eat with, <laughs> and they're very easy to wash. There's not really much room in this bowl. For I will be though. back when it is 
Mostly cut off. I'll be back soon. <laughs> okay. Because you know it's there until it's gone. I think I will just use my fingers. <laughs> it's very steamy. But it smells delicious. Can yeah. a little bit? Your hands clean? Yes. Okay, I think all the big pieces are just about gone. Okay. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. What you can do to make it a bit more juicy. Grab the, grab the juice when saved. And pour it in. And pour it in. Coffee and maple syrup? Yes. Co coffee and maple syrup. Half a coffee, like a quarter of the maple syrup. Okay. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Can you grab some? Oh, it's so good. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Like, I'm not supposed to drink coffee, but mm. you can't even taste it. But it just no. makes it delicious. Like, this is over mm. average meat. Mm -hmm. It's like Yum. nothing I've ever tasted in my life. That's good.